My name is Daniel Beddingfield and I am a garage legend. My name is Mike Skinner and I did a thing called The Streets, then I didn't. Then I awoke from my slumber and brought The Streets back. Touring again was a beautiful thing, but I wanted a new body of work. Collabs and features and that can be a tricky business, but on this, the first Streets mixtape, I wanted to take inspiration from some of my favorite new artists. Sessions are a mixture of silence, apprehension, boredom, blasts of undefinable creativity, and chatting shit. The fastest bird in a line, pigeon. In the end, something happened. I'm calling it, none of us are getting out of this life alive. Anyway, here's a guide from A to Z of things to consider. Nah. When I decided to do this mixtape, I just suddenly had like a light bulb moment where I thought this is the time to get that bust down piece. Because it's going to be used on the cover. Oh my God, here we go. Mm. Yeah? Are you mad? Thank you for making my dreams come true, man. Seriously. Said it won't stop, wake up. Can't see with the blind shots. Laugh down the phone, it's a wind up. Wind up like a jack in my box In the bath with the lights off Cause I ain't got a fiver to keep the lights on It's that ring ring, ring ring At the door I'm like ding ding Door to door, score to settle and the score is pure Handshakes cause they can't take more Did you just write all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wrote three lines I was listening to you as a youth man Like youth man Listening to a grand outcome for free I saw this thing and I see it. Come on. Grew up on this, seen your career, seen you go quiet for ages. Like off the radar, gone. You know what I mean? Like yeah. wondering, like just living life, like where's Mike Skinner going? And he comes back, bang. Yeah. You come back, hit the floor running, like he never left. Actually, one of the things that really turned me around was like you guys. I got to LA and I was like, Tim, can you give me some CBD oil? Because I'm going to bed. So I've been taking 5% CBD oil, yeah? A couple of drops. He gave me 100%. My body felt like it was on fire. It was an overdose. It was an overdose. I overdosed on CBD oil. It's not really a mixtape. It's a duets album. So think of me more like Frank Sinatra. Yeah? Have you ever called someone but you can see them, like maybe you can see them out the window and you call them and they, and they don't answer your call? Yes. It's, it was a guy I was, it was my bandmate at <laughs> university. It kind of confirmed to me that he didn't really want to be in the band. To be honest, that's that's a, positive. Yeah, he, he's never going to recover from not answering that phone call, is he? Let's be honest. I don't think his um his heart was really in music, uh, like as a thing. To be honest, I'm not being funny, but like there's you know your heart being in music, and then there's being in Tame Impala. <laughs> <laughs> I find it hard not getting emotional. Sometimes I want to make like just just bullshit. Ignorant music. Yeah. But then I just get emotional. Yeah, because it's the way you feel it. Don't read YouTube comments. Sometimes I do read them. Not as much yeah. now. I feel like I feel like it's like Instagram is like really polite. And then you've got to like, an you've got Twitter, and then YouTube is just a straight madness. YouTube is a straight madness, but one thing I realised is that it can't bring you down unless you let it in. You yeah. just got to know who you are. 
Well, they want to be heard, don't they? They want to be heard. And that's kind of no difference from, and, from us. And they've got a platform to speak on. A lot of people will not say the stuff they say online in real life. Yeah. Because everyone's bad behind their phone screen. Yeah. And then when you realise that, you just think you're a mug. Who yes. produced um, Has It Come To This? Me. That's a tune. Where did you get the piano sample from? Or did you play it? No, I didn't play it. It was just like, a, yeah, yeah. It was, you know, it was one of them ones where it's like a million, million miles of like... So did you, did you chop up the samples and then play it in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, it was all in hard. a different order, yeah. Premier, Kanye, Kanye. Primo, that, Primo, like, he was my guy. Like. That was like a, a, a garage Primo record. Yeah, well, thank you for saying that, because that's what I was going for. I was very drunk or like, hungover. Drunk or hungover? A bit of both, I think. Do you know what? I read somewhere that the, wor the bit that where you feel the worst is 10 hours after, after the drinking. Mm. It's actually made hangovers a lot better because it might be like midday or whatever. And if you actually count the hours since you were drinking, often you'll be like, this is the worst. It's only going to get better. Mm. And once you know that, it does, it gets better. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I only just started getting invited to like parties and shit. Like, I'm still like, people still are like, oh, who's this? Like, my name is Jimothy. AKA Jimothy Lacoste, AKA Jimothy is excited, AKA Jimothy is motivated. And I'm in Southeast right now in Mike Skinner's studio in a boat. And it's a very nice place here. It's very chilled. I love with hip hop, I love how you can hear the weather, you know? And I feel like I can hear the weather in your music. I think it's kind of like chicken and the egg. It does music sun, sound sunshiny because that's the way you see it? Or did you see a picture of them playing in the sun and then you kind of like reverse interpret it? Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, if yeah, you listen to like, Doc, like Dr. Dre, like Snoop Doggy Dog, it's like, it sounds hot, doesn't it? Like gin and juice. It's true. Sounds it's like true. it's warm. It's true. And then if you listen to like Gangstar, it sounds like everyone's cold. Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. You yeah. know, which is why Jurassic Park, Jurassic Five, are so confusing because they are warm, did, but did they you sound say cold. Jurassic Park, by accident. Jurassic Park, yeah. E <laughs> best hip hop. Um, <laughs> you're really talking. making me want a beer. It's like fucking metal. Get it done. That's what I think of when I think of Italy. <laughs> song it doesn't really have to make sense like you can just say some like wild shit and if you get like the odd good punchline or whatever you can basically just chat complete nonsense none of us are getting out of this life for life none of us are getting out of this life for life none of us are getting out of this life for life
What does that picture say to you, Lee? Oh, this one. Mm. Makes me feel happy because the strokes are so innocent and free. Looks like someone's had a stroke. <laughs> Yeah, man. Initiative. Yeah. Probably one of my favorite mixtapes is definitely uh, 50 Cent is the future. I actually feel 50 Cent invented this mixtape. Other people would just freestyle, but he would actually make brand new songs. I feel like is... there were mixtapes before 50 nah, Cent. No, not like his. There were DJ mixtapes where they would get freestyles and yeah, they'd get brand new yeah, songs. Yeah, 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 but I'm yeah. talking about an artist making like 12, Brand new yeah. songs. But you need a dude shouting all the time, don't you? Yeah. You need a dude shouting. Yeah, G unit, unit. In the new, building. New streets. New streets. The nail. <laughs> the streets. You need that. That's what you need. Yeah. Then it's officially a mixtape. The streets. The nail. The streets. Did you work at Marks and Spencer's? Yes. How did you know that? Well, you said it in the song. Did but, I? Oh, yeah, So yeah, either yeah. you own it or <laughs> you work there. It used to was a good pay for my age at the time. Yeah. I used to work in the office. Oh, my God. I wrote my first album, Original Park Material. I wrote it in the lingerie department of Marks and Spencer's in the office. I remember when I used to work there, I was so proud. I took a picture with my jumper and put it on Instagram like, yeah. Is that still there? No, I Is that going to be it. like the H photo? I hope someone you know. finds it because I look kind of cute still. I was all right. I was always good at customer service because I just like making people feel nice. Oh, 800 double 0 1066. I used to work for that insurance company. I, I, I worked in a call centre. Did you? Yeah, and I was, and it was a big call centre. It was in Australia. And I was the worst performing salesperson in the entire call centre. Really? Yeah, and there was hundreds of people that worked there. With them bars? Fuck a call centre, man. You know, having fun with dance moves and just like making my own moves without realising it, because I'm just basically just going with the rhythm and then just putting an arm there, maybe putting an arm there, leg there, the hip there. Do you know what I mean? And all that, basically. I burn off energy on stage. I so don't man, look like you. It's, well, it's dying out now. So is that just... I don't do nothing. I've never walked in no gym. It's going down now, but back in the day, yeah, you so, so you don't seen think flow he, flow he, back in the day, yeah? Before we got on stage, you just do crazy workouts, man. Uh, we get the blood pumping, we get yeah. the adrenaline pumping. And while we're on stage, that's a whole different workout in itself. You could do a fitness DVD, mm. <laughs> like in a tiny dressing room, get the sofa, you know. Watch it on your tour bus, you know, whatever's <laughs> around you. DIY guys, you still gotta get fit. No? DIY abs. As soon as I heard the beat, I kind of knew what I, what I could do with it. I think I'm gonna give it a bit of space, a bit of... I'm gonna give it a bit of air, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna use the spaces, use, use the gaps as I usually do. And uh, try and tell a story. I know something you did, but I can't say out because of, let's say, how I found out. Because I always beatbox in my phone. I've got like thousands and thousands yeah. of ideas. Yeah, I, I never want anyone, when I die, I don't want anyone to ever find my voice notes. Why? Because it's embarrassing, man. So what, man? I've got all these like, where I'm like on holiday and I'm drunk and I'm like, Singing out an idea that about... That might be the best idea, ketchup, though. Like Tabasco. When I was drunk on holiday, yeah. I was like, that is a perfect metaphor for like bringing, like bringing the party with you, isn't it? It's like, I bring the vibe. Exactly. Like I, I bring, bring the vibe, vibe like to the my, shubs. Like I bring my Tabasco. Yeah. What you're saying is you're bringing the seasoning to the party. Yeah. So that makes sense. You can always find a way to put your personal life in the tune. <laughs> Bruv, I was on the train sober. And I wrote a lyric about losing my hairline. And the lyric is heavy. Call of Duty. Yeah. Turn all the kids to mass murderers. Yeah, I don't think it's the games that turn them into murderers. I think it's the guns. Yeah, that's where the first place to learn how to shoot, though, isn't it? I mean, isn't it?
Do you find that uh, as the tour goes on, you end up talking in a foreign language? We it's like third them. generation slang, and it? it goes from <laughs> like that in joke, and then it's a ref- that thing that happened in San Francisco. Yeah, and then yeah. you try and explain to people, and you sound like a wanker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's because you are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so good, man. It's so wavy. Wave gang. Wave gang. Where the wave at? I am your wave god's wave god. Wave god number one. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, totally, man. I, I, I did think the studio was on fire when I walked in. <laughs> it's Pete when I have it at shows. There's always someone who comes on the middle and just like, sneaks it off. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that would be illegal on stage because it really? ha- doesn't it have to be fire retardant. I mean, I see people banning zoots on stage, which is illegal. So it looks like we're done and something has happened. I've learned many things about myself and others and art and exercise and trolls and Tabasco. Stay positive, friends. And remember, none of us are getting out of this life alive. What is this? I don't know. I know something you did, but I can't say out because of, let's say, how I found out. I know something you did, but I can't say out because of, let's say, how I found out. Boy, cut right there, right now.